Yo, 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 what's up? This your boy, King Lockett, man. Check it back in, man. You know what I'm talking about? All right. I know a lot of you guys been talking about you want to see more of the unicorns now. And we're definitely going to get around to that. Um, unicorn means good girl. All right. All right. Good girl is such a broad thing to say. This video right here, we're going to talk about the flip side of having a good girl, you know, um, a unicorn. There's a flip side to it, you know, and you have to really think about it. Like, are you really built for that type of lifestyle or that type of involvement? You know what I'm talking about? So first of all, let me describe what a unicorn is briefly because I got a video on that. Back, back, back. Let's go check it out. Good girl. Um, among all in the garden or in the field, you might have a whole bunch of plants, different flowers, but there's an orchid that stands out from the rest and retains its beauty the longest, like a primrose, you know? So, it's something unique about this one. Something different about this one. Like a unicorn, among all the horses, you find a one unicorn. So it's like out of every thousands of women, there's maybe one unicorn out of every thousand. All right? In Sasua, DR. In Buka Chica, DR. You know? uh, but we're not going to talk about the mangoes on this one. We're not going to talk about Chapadorias on this one. Um, this right here is about the unicorn. The unicorn, the one who has a job, she may or may not have children, but most definitely don't have children. But you can meet some good women who had children maybe in marriage. The husband ended up dying or they got a divorce or separated for whatever reason. She's still a unicorn. She's just now a single one with a child. But most definitely don't have children unless it's in the marriage. And when I say have a job, she can hold her own and don't really need your help. She's not impressed by your money and what you can do for her. She's more impressed of, on, on the fact that you're a man and you mean what you say. You say what you mean. You don't talk too much. You put more action first. And that's what the Latinas like most of in a man. If you say something, please back it up. Especially with a unicorn. Back it up. So that right there will strip you down for good. You know? And you'll be making up for a lifetime. Can you handle that pressure? Some of us like to talk. Some of us don't like to talk too much. You know. I like to meet at the mines. You know, that's how I was raised in America when I was coming up, when I was learning the game, to always, to always meet at the mines and build. That could be a good and bad thing when you're dealing with the Latinas. It's a certain way to meet at the minds with the Latinas. You got to, you can't think American when you're trying to pursue, especially a Dominican unicorn. You can't think American. You can't think whatever your country you're from. You can't. You got to get rid of that thought, you know. Because in this country, the unicorn ain't finna chase you. That's like a no no. They're very private. Um, the unicorn, not about to be just calling you, you know, and, and, and pressuring you to show her some attention. Unless y'all are exclusive and you're doing something dumb like. Spending time with other women. She's going to warn you first. All right. The unicorn is definitely not the type 
that's about, that's about to be any type of provocative in public. She carries herself with class, dignity and pride, integrity. Integrity. I know my southern southern uh, accent that draw and all of that may throw some of you guys out, especially if you're from up north somewhere, you know. Might have a hard time understanding. And if you're Dominican or, or any type of uh, Hispanic Latin community, you may have trouble understanding me as well, even when I try to speak Spanish, you know, because I still have a different, a deep South accent. So bear with me. Because I have to bear with y'all too. All right? So, but a unicorn, like I say, has a job. I mean, not just any type of job. Lawyers, real estate agents, investors, doctors, dentists, nurses, registered nurses. You know, um, they're just sitting right in their country. But let's not get it confused because every woman wants a man to provide. So there's a certain time when you are supposed to provide for your woman. If she's your woman. You know, because that's what women expect. Except in America, they they don't need a man. So these women here want and need a man. So then when you step in, you have to lead and be the man a certain type of way. But the flip side to having a unicorn is the jealousy. Once She's giving herself to you, which she don't do easily. You're not going to just easily get her to give herself to you. That's not going to happen, fellas. Because this country still, the women here still stands on core values, spirituality, when you're dealing with the right ones. I mean, even when you're dealing with the mangoes, the bad girls, or whatever the case may be, they still going to tell you to wake up with God and go to sleep with God and make God bless. They still deep with spirituality. They're just outside of their zone trying to get a quick come up. So you have to understand that it's not going to come easy. But when she do give herself to you, she's going to show you another side. You know. You will get a wild side. Like, if you're through being stupid and got all kind of text messages coming through your phone and trying to hide stuff, she may pull the knife out and chop the pineapples a little more precisely and showing that game with the knife as she cut that pineapple and make you a nice drink, showing you this could be you if you keep playing, partner. That's the flip side. Ain't none of that going out, kicking. She want to be up under you, with you. She want to be holding hands in public. She want to kiss you in front of everybody. She want the whole Wu Gang down pat. She want to know that your eyes are only on her. Because she worked hard to keep her image together for you. And for herself. You know, so she want to know that you appreciate her. So when you out in public and you see, you know, like... Latin women are just naturally just sexy and seductive. They're just, without even trying to be, especially to us foreigners, we, we definitely see it as something unique, you know, and, and exotic, you know. So you better keep your eyes to yourself, partner. Because when you think she ain't looking, she looking. And when she grab your arm, you better pridefully grab it, let, let her embrace you, and hold them hands. This right here will make or break you. You know, um, like I said, it ain't going to come easy, guys. It's definitely not going to come easy. You know, I've seen guys pursue unicorns for months and then finally get a kiss. But they are happily ever after, you know. You got you to play it right, you know. Take yourself off the market completely. Because she's going to want to see your phone. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even if she say no, I don't. She gonna wanna peep because she feel like she's a good girl. There's nothing she has to hide. She gonna lay it down for you to see. Oh, there you go. Any type of slit stuff going on, she's gonna talk to the girl. Why are you messing with my man? They serious, man. Don't cause pretty girls to scratch each other's faces up. Cause they they cut each other up like razor blades to faces. They try to kill that beauty quick. Don't cause that fiery passion and affection for you to be channeled the wrong way. We're not here to hurt people. We're here to build. You know, leave all that player shit in the States or in Canada or wherever you come from when you're here dealing with the unicorn because your ass will be rejected. Taking one of these flowers, that's good, and you trying to be a dumbass with it. And this country will spit your ass out. So you got to think about it. These are the ones that the, the Dominican men really want. And the Dominican men strive from police officers to other lawyers. And these men want this woman that you're pursuing. You see? The Dominican men are going at her. They're not dropping her off to come see you late at night. These ain't, these ain't the girls of Dominicans that saying, hey, I got some girls for you, look. No, 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 these are the ones Dominicans ain't talking, the Dominican men ain't talking about them at all. When you come here on your foreign trip and your vacation and you're looking at all these girls, trust me, the Dominicans got the other ones in the back, the unicorns in the back, trust me. Them ain't the ones they bringing up front, you know. And if you pay attention to the ones of Dominican men, the, the real Dominican men, the the prolific, the the great Dominican men, the, the 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 authentic Dominican men, they're not the street guys. I'm talking about Dominican men, sophisticated men. You look at the women that they're with when they're holding hands and they're walking places and they're on the playa and they're here and they're there. Those women are drop dead gorgeous and unicorn. Trust me. Those are the ones you want. See, I show y'all a lot of the chapadorias and bad girls because who's going to give you a better interview to understand them than them? I don't want a good girl telling you about another type of girl, a bad girl. I don't want a bad girl talking about a good girl. I rather the good girl talking about the good girl and the bad girl talking about the bad girl. So if you can identify with what's being presented to you, you'll know the difference just by seeing what's being presented to you. Look at all the YouTube channels that was before me, right? Before I came around, look at all of them. It's all giving you the same. And I even gave you a same with them because I'm a product of what they created as well because I followed them too, you know? So I'm giving you what I know to give you what I know you want to see. But then when you see it, you gotta you, you gotta differentiate in your mind like, well, those what's being shown. That's how I learned how to. I learned how to spot unicorn. I can do it on the spot now. Me, me and bros be practicing. We might be riding on the road. I'm like unicorn, possibly unicorn mango. This is the just 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 calling it out. You know and that come from studying other YouTubers and studying what I've learned from the YouTubers. Studying this culture and learning a lot, you know. So, what I'm doing right now is sitting down talking to you, giving you a depiction in your mind of what to expect. Because on this page, we like we want to uplift the good part. We don't want to just uplift mangoes. We don't want to do that. What we want to do is uplift the unicorns. You know what I mean? We want we want to get them. A, we want we want to let them know that we peep them, we see them, and we're not all here for the same thing. We're not all here for sex. We're not all here for just to be playing with girls and stuff. We're not all here for that. And, and believe me or not, the girls you see around me, these girls, certain, I ain't got to say nothing. But I don't touch them. We don't do that. You know? I may bring them around and have a good time. I may introduce them to other guys that's around me. But I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't leave with my penis. If anything, I want you guys to see, so I schedule an interview, you know? And have fun, talk, laugh, dance, and act, you know, entertainment for the for the camera. You know, but other than that, you know, I don't play the radio. I don't I don't I don't fool around like that. You know, I just chill. Because I don't want my face card to be associated with a certain level of encounterment, involvement, circumstances and situations, people, whether male or female, you know. And that goes for the SBAC community. That goes for the tourism. That goes for people from Atlanta. 
where I'm from, if you conduct and carry yourself a certain way, I don't want my character, my image, my brand associated with it. You see what I'm saying? Because then that's that's messing me up. You understand what I'm saying? I'd be nice and cordial, but I, I'm not, you know, I can't do that. Not saying I'm better than anybody or anything like that. It's just that that's just life, man. Energy. Life is built on energy, you know. Uh, birds of a feather usually flock together. You know, so so what I'm saying is we want to uplift the flip side, the beautiful side of this country, and I'm giving you the flip side of the unicorn. You're going to have to understand the family. You're going to have to go through the family. You're going to have to sip the family. She's not just going to go on a date with you. Hey, I want to take you out somewhere nice. You can't put enough money in there to make her say, I'm impressed. It's not going to happen. The few unicorns I've met here, you know, nice looking guys with money shoot, shoot at them. They turn them down. You know why? They already know you're only visiting. You're going to leave. Probably got a family at home. Who cares? And your money ain't finna just move me because I'm not that tight. I stand on my pride. I got more pride than that. I would be with a Dominican who don't have nothing like me and then not deal with you gringo or you Americans coming here thinking you you the shit and like your money and your game and your shoes and your outfit going to pull me. No. And your villa and your resort and your this and your that. No. I was, that's why you get that she can't love you like she loves a Dominican man. Because the Dominican man is coming straight pure. He's coming pure at heart. He's coming pure with intentions. He coming where I don't have nothing but love for you. I can't offer you not much but love. Even if she's successful, a dentist or a doctor, she's going to take the Dominican because he's coming with nothing but pure love. So that's the flip side, fellas. You ain't coming with pure love and intentions and humble yourself and go into situations with her. You might as well don't even sign up for the unicorn, my fella. Now we'll just stay with the mangoes and play how you play. You know, do what you do. Have a good time and enjoy yourself while you're here. When you leave, forget about it and come back, you know, because the unicorn, ain't, you're not finna just win like that. If, if all you got is your money, to impress a lady, the unicorn ain't the one you want to sign up for. Because if she do take your money, she's playing you. Because that's not even in her to do that. She'd rather build. You hear a unicorn say, why give me money and spoon feed me? Why can't we just, why can't you and I go in on a business? Like, yeah, you probably got more money than me. You're my man. Create a business, you know, and, and I will help run it. And, and we would go from there. Like, cut me a little something, you know. But a lot of you brothers are too insecure to do that. Let me tell you why. You don't even want no Dominican woman that you can't even leave with your money with. You run up on a Dominican woman that got her bread, got her property together and shit. You ain't going to know what to do with her. Your ass ain't going to know what to do. Because you can't, she, your money ain't going to impress her. So now, nah, what you going to do now? What you going to do now? So my thing is I'm telling you what to do now. I'm not going to make an accusation or uh, an assumption without cleaning it up with, with something that you can do. You know, What you can do is pure at heart. Humble yourself. Help her run some shit. Go sweep a flow. Go mop a little bit. Go change something. Lay down with her and her establishment. I had one brother told me I'm dating a good girl, man. And I met her. She's a fucking good girl. I met her. I said, she's a good girl. He said, she invited me to her house, but I didn't go in. I said, what? He said, man, I didn't want to go in, man. I just felt like, you know, it was in a village type situation. I couldn't go in. I said, bro, that's your grand mistake. But we're going to help you clean that mistake up. Bro, you made a big mistake. And, you know, he's probably watching, you know. I ain't going to say his name, but that's, that's, that's a brother that, that's a bro I love this brother, you know. I said, bro, you made a mistake, bro. Don't you know? You should have went in there, sat down, and probably said, baby, cook, cook me something. I need some water. You don't turn that down, man. You go in there, you sit down, because now you're going to, she probably stand around in the midst of the family anyway, because they all usually live together in the same neighborhood, the same area, so they can go from each other's houses. You need to be going to the houses, so you should be able to go as they go. You know? That's when you're getting grafted in, man. 
You don't judge. He said, I couldn't go in, man. I know I know what he was thinking, like, I'm American, you know. And he didn't have no bad intention. He wasn't like, I can't go in because of blah, 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 blah. He was just like, his heart was just so big for her, so much love for her that he just didn't want her to think or feel bad about him walking in. Like, he's thinking some type of way about her. But she's not thinking like that. She's not, yeah, she see on TV how you living and stuff, and she see, but she's not. Th she's like, this is this is this is me. I don't know nothing but this. So come in. I don't care about what you got going on in your country, you know, because she being grafted into your culture. So you got to be grafted into her culture. You got to be ready to slaughter something to eat. You got to be ready to go into this culture with her. That's the flip side. It ain't none of that what you used to dealing with and seeing on these YouTube channels. No. It's a whole nother situation, brother. You know, whole nother situation. And she has an attitude, just like the rest of them. She's going to pop off at the mouth, just like the rest of them. But she's going to respect you, hold you in high regards. You know, and she'll love you like she loved a Dominican man. But you got to know how to be the Dominican man. I'm not saying you're not American or Canadian or, you know, European or, you know, not saying that, a British or anything, not saying that you got to let go of your culture and all of that because you the man, she got to come into your culture, you know, but you still want to be grafting in hers and understand where she come from, you know, because when I'm pursuing a unicorn, I'm going to her job, I'm going to work for free, I'm going to figure out what it is to be her. I'm going to humble myself. I'm going to do whatever it is I need to do. I'm going to be the Dominican man when pursuing her. I'm going to sit with the Dominican brothers and I'm going to talk to them about her and see what I can get from them. And I'm going to learn from them how to how I need to pursue like how those that grew up with her saw a witness, you know. So that way it's like, Papa, Papa, he different. El different. She's telling, she's saying he's different. She's telling the family he's different. I can't, I can't allow myself to do the things or ignore the things about his correct characteristics and his character because it's so genuine. He's actually after me and everything around me. You know, you got to be ready, you know, to, to take on some different type of responsibilities. The family's gonna cling to you too. So this is just part one of the flip side. I think it's one video to the flip side, you know. So we'll get some more of the flip side stuff, you know. Because there's a whole lot that comes with the unicorn that a lot of you guys need to know about and understand before you jump into that. And I don't want to be misleading, so I got to kind of coach you through it at the same time, you know. I got to kind of like give insight at the same time. And then like this good old Dominican coffee. Early in Miana, in Miana, that good coffee. Mm. But yeah, man, you know, and this was on my mind, you know, because even in the Lions Den group chat, all the Lions in there going in, you know, having a good time, man. The vibes is real good, the energy is real good. I'm very selective about who I let into the group. Because we don't want to tank, tank anything. We don't want no arguing. We don't want nobody coming in there thinking they're better than everybody. We don't want no arrogancy. We don't want none of that. We're a bunch of men getting along together and edifying and teaching each other and moving each other in ways that we need to be going in a certain direction. We, we, we gentlemen, we grown men in the lines then. And in the lines then, the topic is unicorns right now. You know? And um, so, you know, that's what I'm covering. And um, yeah, man, I'm gonna end this video for now. If you got any questions? You can DM me on Instagram at number one king underscore lock it l o c k e t t. You can also leave a comment in the comment section and let me know how you how you like this video. If you like it, you dislike it. You know, um, give some encouraging words or whatever. And um, you can also you can also put put down. Right, whatever it is that you're requesting, like anything you want to see, you know, anything you want to do, you know. Today I should be in the barrios. Today also I should be getting up with Gendry. And we're a coaster, the YouTuber. Y'all go subscribe. 
um, to his channel, great channel. He's like the only Dominican that's YouTubing like an American. So he's the probably the top Dominican that's actually giving you great content from the, from how we doing it. You know, other Dominicans probably putting videos and music up and doing the Dominican thing, but he's actually going the route we're going, but the Dominican way. Um, so we're supposed to be getting up later. He's showing me a new playa. He's showing me a new area. So we'll have the cameras on. We'll be filming. And uh, I'll be, you know, it's like a little slick party today because, you know, Domingo, which is Sunday, is like a, 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 a ritual day for the Dominicans where they party and celebrate and have a good time, you know. Their Sunday is like our Saturday. Um, back in America. So, you know, get this video a thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe. This is the flip side of having a unicorn. You got to be ready and prepared for this. This is part one. I got part two coming soon. And then we're going to start doing interviews with um, unicorns so you can see the way they conduct themselves and just read the body language and all extra inviting and all flamboyant, they're real reserved and cool, and they're actually pretty down to earth, actually. You know, totally different. You know, um, yeah. Oh, this last story about a unicorn. I was in a bank the other day, trying to get some money, and I spotted a unicorn. And I looked down, and I kept looking. My eyes was fixated on her. I wouldn't take them off. I was putting these hard stairs on her. Then I know, off top, like the Dominican man, you notice what they'll do. They put them eyes on them and stay on them. They don't waver. They can make her shy away. When she shy away, they'll bounce off a little bit and get back on them. They don't know that out of everybody in this room, I'm on you. Different from another type of female, the other type of female is going to become seductive. you know. But she was showing nervousness, suspicion, and a little bit of impress you know, at the same time. You know, so... Um, in the American mindset, I was thinking, oh, man, I don't want to seem like a pervert. Oh, man, I don't want to seem like I'm just uh, stalking her or something. But that's not how they think. Yeah, they thinking like, okay, you better claim your territory. You better claim it aggressively. Because these Dominican men, they are aggressive. All right? So if you want to play in this field with a unicorn, you've got to be ready to play with the other alphas. The other alphas are the, the alphas of the Dominican world. So you're an alpha from America, uh, Canada, wherever you're from, but you're dealing with some more alphas, another breed. You know, so they just just like you, but just another breed, speak another language, and and you're trying to get into their culture and get their one, get, get a girl here, you know. So you got a, you got a lot of it's gladiator school, my dude, gladiator school, and especially in the Sousa Puerto Plata area, it's showing up gladiators because you're dealing with a lot right here. But anyway, um, so she ended up the banker ended up telling her to sit down for whatever reason. I tried to uh, withdraw some things, had some complications. So he asked me to sit down as well and, and delegate on the phone what I needed to do. And while I do that, sitting in the area, so coincidentally, I sat down. I sat down right across from him. So at this point, I ain't showing her no attention. I'm just trying to figure out how to break the language barrier and, and get through to her and talk to her, you know, just intro, and just a basic introduction. So finally, I said, hola, como estas? And she said, bien and tu. She just kind of like, make it quick, short. And she dressed the part. She ain't, you know, matter of fact, I think, she had on jeans and a blouse and maybe some um, some low top um, below the ankles type of um, all star type of converse type shoes, you know, uh, looking real sophisticated, had a ponytail long and had her glasses on and reading glasses on. She was just looking like a preppy school girl, actually. So. Um, I asked her, could I introduce myself to her? She said. No, you can't. I was like, okay, no problem. You know, and I smiled and said, thank you so much for allowing me this much. She said, good. So this gay guy comes and sit down in between us. So it's like my seat, then what you guys at is your her seat, and then to my your right, my left, a gay guy came and sat down, and he was Dominican. And I and I'm looking at how everybody in the bank. Kissed on her, hugged her, and everybody was like, how you doing, you know? And even the gay guy was talking to her. Um, so I was saying to myself, strategically, like, man, and I knew she couldn't really understand me. I said, man, I just, I just wish she would see me a little different from these gringos and the ones who's traveling here 
for sex and girls, I just, I'm just i just impressed by her being different from the rest and just wanted to take her out to eat. He heard me and he told her what I said. And she looked up at me and smiled. I said, you speak English? He said, yes. I said, oh man, okay, cool. I said, she seems to be impressed by what I said. He said, yes. He said, you know what she was telling me when she was talking to me? I said, what? She said, she finds you to be very attractive and brave. She said, but she didn't want you thinking she anything like these girls right here because you Americans come here and y'all go after those type of women. Y'all ignore the ones y'all supposed to be really talking to if you really want to talk to somebody or something. And she said, that's why she had to tell you no because she didn't want you even thinking she was the same. And I'm at the popular bank in Susua. Y'all know where it's at, right up the street from Flip Flop, around the corner from Flip Flop, you know, on the next street over from Ivy and all that, good, rumbles and all that. You know where I was. Um, and she said she, and she don't want to be associated with anything like that. So I looked at her and I started translating her. But he was listening, still talking to her. And I said, hey man, just, we, we cleared it up. We got it straight, we exchanged numbers. And um, come to find out, she's a psychologist for children, children, ch child psychologists. Um, and she has some other type of uh, business that she has going on as well. And she's only 20 years old, 20 years old. Had her own car and has her own money. Beautiful. I can't have all the unicorns. Like I said, it's not good. But I was proud to meet her as a friend because I could maybe set up an interview or whatever. You guys who are valuable enough and worthy enough can have her. You know, I'm good. I don't I don't need nobody. I'm good. I'm, I'm straight. I am straight. I'm telling you that. I'm straight. I'm straight in Atlanta. I'm straight in my Atlanta turn, uh, 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 word play. We straight. You know, I don't need I don't need no more unicorn. I don't need I'm good, you know. Um, but I'm proud to say that I met her because, you know, the right man, I'm going to say, bro, I got somebody I want you to meet on my face call. I want, I want you to meet somebody, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, man, I'm going to end with that story right there. Uh, I don't took y'all a little further. Uh, I hope y'all enjoy uh, this content right here. I'm going to have more coming soon. You know, um, and I appreciate y'all for supporting me. I appreciate y'all for supporting this channel because it's not just my channel. This is your channel too. I represent you. I'm glad the group chat, they stay on me. They keep me grounded. They be in my AAA hey, 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 and they let me know when I need to level up. I think I deleted a video the other day because they was like, yo, 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 yo. You should have edited it, but you deleted it. Fine. You know, so they keep me on point. I appreciate it. You know, um, and I love all you guys, man. Let's keep striving. Let's keep pushing, man. And, uh, Make sure you like, share, subscribe to this channel, this King Locket, you know. Um, and I'm out, man, so in a minute, I'm going to be bringing some more content. You know, y'all take it easy out there, man. Let me go on and get right, right quick and go on and fall off in the cut. All right, y'all take it easy. Peace.